Here we go again. Starting this weekend, another main bridge here in Portland is going to be closed as they start a year of construction work. A year. A year. That means more delays and slower commutes. We sent our Joseph Dames out to help you prepare for all this congestion. He joins us now live. Joe. Well, good evening to the both of you. You know, we still have a few days, a couple nights, but the Burnside Bridge is going to be closed through the weekend. Starts at 11 p.m. on Friday night. It does reopen Monday morning at 5 a.m., but it's going to be shy a few lanes, and here's why. The city of Bridges, stunning architecture, but when they need repairs, a nightmare for a commute. It's going to be a big impact to Burnside Bridge users starting this weekend. Do you think you might take a different route if it's... Uh... Probably. Kelly Gasway commutes the Burnside Bridge almost daily. She'll be getting used to this blinking sign, stating the Burnside Bridge closure dates as Multnomah County prepares for a hefty project. What needs the work? Well, a little bit of everything, I was told, from surface repairs, concrete, and electrical. You can see some of the deteriorated spots here of the 90-year-old bridge. The purpose of this maintenance project is to make sure we get another 10, 15 years out of the bridge before we can do the big fix uh, to make it reliable in an earthquake. Gasaway is just recovering from the Morrison Bridge construction, but understands if it needs a little fixing. If it's for the better, then sure. Um, but we just, I mean, we just kind of had to reroute everything. We usually take the Morrison Bridge home, so that's now open. It just looks like we'll have to do the same thing with this now. However, Mike Poland with Multnomah County believes this won't be nearly as bad as the Morrison construction. I think that the public will definitely notice uh, that congestion is going to be worse on the Burnside Bridge for the next two years. Fortunately, the Morrison Bridge has got all six lanes back open now. It's right next door to the, the Burnside Bridge just to the south. Um, Steel Bridge, Broadway Bridge or other good alternate routes. But um, I don't think the public will find this as much of an impact as the Morrison was. We went from six lanes down to two lanes. Yeah, so I was told that this has nothing to do with preparing for a future earthquake. So this is really just maintenance. It's going to buy me about 10 to 15 more years for the Burnside Bridge. It will also impact anyone that likes to ride across with a bike or walk across as a pedestrian. So keep in mind this weekend, it's going to be a full closure. And when it reopens, it's just going to be a few more lanes that have been uh, closed on off. Reporting live in Portland, Joseph Dames, Coin 6 News, back to you in the studio. All right, Joseph.